You know what? Most guys are just pussies. Maybe you're one of them. Who knows? <laughs> I don't even know. Maybe you might be one of them. Maybe not. If you're already a subscriber, yeah, if you actually subscribe, you might actually not be a pussy because you're actually committed. But there is right now a massive pandemic going on. Losers after losers after losers. This video actually, I was gonna explain like what's the number one thing that makes people successful. I've seen a lot of rich people, including myself, when I look in the mirror. You know, I'll just <laughs> look in the mirror, I'll be like, damn, this guy actually made it. I look in the bank account, I see, you know, number, number, number. I'll see like seven numbers. I'll be like, damn, that's amazing, right? But one thing I've seen when I see other rich people before I, I got rich myself on my glorious path, the number one thing I saw that successful people had i tell you it's they were incredible at not giving a fuck that's when i say it like not politically correct if i say politically correct i'll mean stress management for all the people who didn't get it stress management the number one thing that i saw in people who got successful i'm talking about when you when you think of stress management you might be for example thinking oh yeah i'm writing a test oh i'm I might be a little bit nervous, but oh yeah, I studied well, and, and I'm not gonna fail the test. Oh yeah, I'm just I'm managing my stress, right? Or, or, or like you're talking to a girl on a fucking date, you're like, oh yeah, let me not be nervous. I'm managing my stress here. No, that's for fucking idiots. I'm talking about monumental stress. I'm talking about, let's say, wife's calling. Oh yeah, I caught you cheating again. You're a fucking, you're a fucking asshole. I'm gonna break up. I'm gonna take all, all the kids. I'm gonna take away all the money. This side, on this side, business partners calling. Yo, bro, I don't know. I think we're in serious trouble. We're, yo, we're getting this massive ass lawsuit. I think we're all fucked soon. Da -da -da. And then on this side, like, oh yeah, the doctor's like, oh yeah, pfft. You know, we, we don't know what that might be. You have this like s scar in the lung. I don't know, maybe you have cancer. We don't know, we need to run, run some more tests. And then while all of that, all of that is happening, you're just like, all right, cool. Can I please have another coffee? Fuck it, who gives a fuck? That's what you need to be like. I'm talking about ice cold fucking killers. That's the number one thing I've seen in people. Literally, I, I was at this one seminar and there was this guy, he was 22, I remember. He was the same age as me, he was 22. And he was like, oh, you know, just very well dressed, everything. And he was telling his story, how he even got rich. Literally, his parents, fucking the, the dog got ran over. They thought they had cancer, some bullshit. And he was like, yo, I need to make sure my family is saved. Literally, that's what he thought. And he told a story. He literally went out to some random bar and then started pretending like he can hypnotize people and started asking people for $10,000. He didn't give a fuck. When's the last time in your life you have truly not given a fuck? Think about the people in the Olympics, for example. They come up to the Olympics. Fucking, they might lose. They might also win. That's also stressful. If you're like, I might win, but I might lose as well. But I might also win. I'm like this close to winning, but I'm not there yet. You got all the people. You got the haters here. You got the lovers here. They're all like, oh yeah, you're gonna lose. But these guys are like, oh, you're gonna win. But then you gotta tell the people you gotta win. All that pressure that's like boiling up. And then you gotta like have your competitors at the side. And then it's like zero, zero to a hundred. You need to win now. And then under all that, you're just chilling. Like, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna win. Easy peasy. I'm gonna be chilling. It's all good. I'm not gonna lose. <laughs> One great example, Floyd Mayweather. He doesn't give a fuck at all. Have you seen Floyd Mayweather? He'll go into the fight like, yeah, I'm the number one, what the fuck? He, bro, he could be literally losing. He's 50 and 0. He's fighting and fighting and fighting. I don't even know why the nigga keep fighting. He's a 50 and 0. Think about it. But you have to be ultra stress resistant. That is the number one thing I've seen. And that has also already happened in my life, right? And the more it happens to your life, guys, you need to train this ability. The more it happens in your life, the more stress resistant you become. Do you understand that? I've had times in life, and I've told this story many times, I've lost a hundred grand in a day, right? That was one of the most stressful things ever. But then also, I was already so used, you know, because I was doing competitions, I was doing all that, I didn't even feel the pain anymore. I was just like, yeah, pff, fuck it, let me get some breakfast. Let me get some breakfast, right? I'm talking about being in the club, and you're just like partying, you got bitch here, bitch here, you just make out with this bitch, this bitch, she's it, she's like, eh, I'm gonna leave now. Then you start making out with this, be like, shut up. 
make out with this bitch, she likes it, then you make out with some other bitches, all chaos. This is the number one trait you need to have if you want to be ultra successful. Guys, the more you level up in life, the more pressures you're gonna face, the winds are gonna be blowing harder. Everything might destruct and destruct massively. Even if you're already a millionaire, you might get hit with a massive losses that kills you. You might get hit with me too, with all these random bimbos nowadays. Didn't like fucking some guy, Vincent McCohen or whatever his name is, the, the wrestling guy, he just got hit with a massive lawsuit. Some bimbo is saying, that he actually sexually assaulted her 30 years ago. He doesn't give a fuck. So yeah, Bim Bomb, like you, they were like, oh, the, the, the lawyer's like, hello, sir. I don't even call him, sir. Hello, sir. Uh, we're writing you this, uh, uh, we're gonna write, be writing this letter. It'll, it'll be coming up soon. We want $50 million because you assaulted my clients. And Vincent McCone is like, fuck you. And he's like, sir, if you do this, we're gonna be going public. Your image is gonna be drastically, drastically fucked. It's like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Everyone is like that. All the people I've seen, they're just dancing in the stress, dancing in the rain. Most of you, you would fucking panic. You would lose it. You'd be like, oh, oh, oh my God, I can't take this anymore. And it's even with bitches. You know what the number one thing is that girls actually look for? And I realized that recently. The number one thing girls want from their man. That's when they know that you're actual G. Not even the money. Not even how much muscles you have. Not even like connections you have. All that bullshit. No. It's like, can you handle stress? That's why bitches will literally th throw shit tests at you. They'll like do something. They might even do like a pullback. Just think because they want to see, all right, cool. Can this nigga handle the stress? Is he really a high value? Because if he can handle the stress, he wouldn't give a fuck, right? She'd be like, oh yeah, we haven't done this and that, and then you're like, either do this or not. If you're out, you're out. I don't give a fuck. Oh, you're out? Oh, you you don't want to do this anymore? All right, cool, I'm good. I have other bitches. I'm good. That's the quality that bitches find the most attractive. So remember these guys, train your stress response. The number one way to train this, in my opinion, is training the body. But by also training competition. You need to engage in competitions where it's like lose or win and there's no way back. You enter in the ring, you enter into the fucking track meet. You might lose, you might win. All decks fucking down, however the fuck they say it. And then you only have one thing to win or lose. That stress response guys, if you go through it enough times, you will get become more attractive. Guys look in the eyes and be like, bro, this guy, he needs fucking business. And you will be looking at yourself, you're like, bro, I'm a fucking G.